Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So, as you can see, the support is complete, and uh, as you may recall, this was a dedication build to Build Rat uh, Alex. Um, basically, because of the inspiration that I think he gives uh, to others with uh, the wonderful work he does with um, wooden ships uh, and also obviously with uh, with plastic stuff as well. Um, his attention to detail is just uh, fantastic and uh, I really enjoy watching his video so thanks ever so much Alex for uh, the stuff that you do um, and for, for sharing it with us. Now the, uh, the Sukuf um, was uh, a French uh, submarine laid down in 1927 and launched in uh, November 1929 and she was commissioned in April 1934. Uh, <coughs> she unfortunately disappeared on the 18th of February 1942. She was a cruiser submarine um, and she had a speed of around uh, 18 and a half knots uh, while surfaced and uh, 10 knots while submerged. The range on the surface was around 18,500 kilometres or 11,500 miles. Um, she could travel 81 miles submerged. She had two 8-inch guns, two 37mm anti-aircraft guns, four 13.2mm anti-aircraft guns and eight 22-inch torpedo tubes. There's no conclusive confirmation that the Thompson likes collided with Sukuf and her wreck has yet to be discovered. There are alternative stories of her fate. Disregarding the predictable story about her being swallowed by the Bermuda Triangle, one of the most popular is that she was caught in Long Island Sound refueling a German U boat, and both submarines were sunk either by the American submarines USS Mackerel and Marlin or a United States Coast Guard blimp. On the 14th of April 1942, Mackerel had torpedoes fired at her by a German U boat while en route from New London to Norfolk. The torpedoes missed mackerel, which returned fire without result. It is possible some assume this attack was made by Sukuf, fueling rumours she was really serving the Germans. In response to the above theory, Captain Julius Grieger, uh, Jr. of the uh, United States Navy Reserve retired, who has extensively researched and written about Sukuf, offered a $1 million prize to anyone who could prove Sukuf engaged in activities detrimental to the Allied cause. As of 2011, the prize has not yet been claimed. So, uh, this was a nice kit to build. It went together really well. Uh, even the um, etch behaved itself and fortunately stayed in place uh, whilst I brush painted this. Um, the painting was a bit of a swine, I've got to confess. The Vallejo Red doesn't lay down well over dark colours and I would put the delineation between the red and the dark grey too low down the hall so then I had to paint over some of the dark grey and it took loads of coats in order to get it to, to look the proper colour. The other unfortunate incident was that um, I had touched up some of the dark grey and then I was touching up some of the red and unfortunately some of the dark grey seeped out of the brush and into the red and uh, meant that it corrupted the, uh, the red as I was painting it. So I had to do further coats. Um, usually I do a sludge wash on my builds just to give them a bit more of a, a delineation and uh, contrast. But with the rain being so close to the conning tower and the uh, the gun turret. I was concerned that it would have been possible for me to clear it out from between the rains and consequently I've uh, not done it. But as I say this is my uh, third build finish for the All at Sea group build. 
and uh, I intend, as you know, to do another build which uh, is HMS Eskimo 1350 of scale and that is in dedication to my uh, good lady wife. I have one other build that I want to do for this group build at least, so I'd better get my finger out. The 1st of January sees the start of the Big Rig group build and also the D-Day group build which I'm excited for both and I have got loads of ideas for the uh, D-Day group build as well as you know um, your entries are supposed to be within a diorama um, something I'm not particularly good at uh, and a lot of the dioramas that I intend will be quite easy and straightforward I hope so anyway uh, thanks ever so much uh, for watching this I uh, hope you like it and uh, I do intend to get another couple of videos out before the end of uh, 2018. So I'll catch up with you soon.